be smoking again. Believe you think I could go this long obsessing? How long did you quit? Uh, December will be five years. No. Or four. Wait, December of two thousand one. Be five years in December. Yeah, I remember when that was. It was when we were doing the what? What have you got? Segment of the show. I had a moment. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, the guy brought the lungs. What the hell is that? No, the guy was. We had a couple of doctors in the studio, and we had guests come in. Hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. I was actually. <laughs> Take his seat. Oh, Take his you seat. Colin Quinn on. just oh, ripped sorry. Voss out of his seat. <laughs> Took his headphones. You were raped. Oh, man. That's the most exercise he's done in a month. Oh, Colin, you picked the perfect hey, day on, to stop you by. Go. You picked the perfect day to stop by. Get in on this. I fucking... Voss is telling us he's going to quit smoking again. But as Colin walked in, I was thinking about Colin. That's fucking really creepy. That's great. Right. You're psychic. Is that an awful bandage on your nose? <laughs> well, <I'm not> being... <laughs> That's it's from one of the girls he's dating. <laughs> <laughs> let's get uh, let's get Colin Quinn a mic. We need a chair for My him, surprise. too. Oh, what is that? Colin should not like, I'm, I'm expecting Bud Fox to save you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No, that's not bad. LA Confidential. Hey, come on. <laughs> Just threw his his breakfast on the floor. Uh, the reason I came by, by the way. Okay. Are we going to have an intervention or something? Something. Yeah, the reason yeah, I came by. On. No, not in, it's an intervention for you two guys. Uh oh, what oh, do we boy. do? A little power corrupt. Power corrupts. Apparently, from giving this idiot uh, a voice on the radio. He drove me home last night. His Toyota cad Caddy. Have you seen that Camry <laughs> that he calls a Caddy? Toyota Caddy. Norton. Have you seen it? It's the worst Cadillac ever. <laughs> it's it's like he shows me. What do you think? I go, oh yeah. It looks like a Camry. So yeah, uh, he's got Camry. He's got the most awful GPS that, like you know, it's crayons. <laughs> 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 it's an eight-year-old girl. And then uh, uh, seat. And then uh, <laughs> so last night we're driving yeah. home. This crayons? moron. I thought I had supposed to be. Uh, you know, uh, you, I don't believe much in conspiracy. He always has to deny that he believes in everything and then he believes in it. Like, <laughs> usually, so he can feel like he's a unique guy instead of just another, uh, you know, strip mall idiot like the rest of us. And he's like, oh, I'm not a conspiracy guy like some of these idiots. And he goes into this thing about the, the wing nuts. We on, heard about it. Yeah, yeah. I was just talking it was about just it. just so aggravating. I felt like saying, you know, Either do charity or learn a musical instrument, you fucking phony bore. It's so boring. It's so shit. I mean, if you saw these photos, he goes, give me what? I'm not giving you my fucking emails. You can wait. Send me some shitty picture. Go back to porn. At least then you were kind of excited. Well, it's phony. Instead of reading a book or taking a class, this is what dumb people do to feel intellectual. They check out like the size of planes go. Oh, I mean, if you look at the vector, because some other <laughs> because some other asshole sent it to him. Go, you know, this is not a 757. <laughs> yes, it probably is, but who gives a shit? You boring idiot! It was actually <laughs> take that thing off. Is that a sleep apnea thing? Dude, what, what else could it be? Colin, you're on fire. Don't sit down. He's <laughs> working. The, sit down. He's working the room. He's pacing back and forth yeah, and just you doing right? some crowd work. Reduced. I know you're fat because you don't have to, you know. <laughs> oh my God. We all, we all do weird. that though. We'll read all those political books and then just reciting what we just read but to I, other I people. Claim, but I was, claim it's ours. But I was honest about where I got it. I didn't say I made it up. I said that I don't. I, I found a, a credible uh, source. The gravitas in his fucking idiotic face is what got him. <laughs> he put the pressure on me though now to to dispute this. But you'll watch. He goes, it. I'll send you the link. Watch it. And then you tell me where the piece came from that isn't a 757. That's right. Oh, tell him to prove it. And then you just, and then I go, well, what's the motive? I don't know. But, well, that yeah. would be part one of this <laughs> argument. But I don't know. Tell me the motive. Then don't bring it up until you have a motive. Well, I don't have to have a solution. <laughs> no, a motive is different from a solution, you. Yes, it is. A motive is a solution as to why. Why it would the government oh. shove a plane into the Pentagon? I yeah. don't. I don't because know. They, would. they were waiting for the right opportunity. So that day, when two planes went into the World Trade Center, they said, "Now's our chance, quick." Because <laughs> <laughs> the one that went into the Trade Center are legit. It's yeah. that Pentagon one. Yeah. That, like, they just had it sitting there waiting for he that. He raised to happen. some good points, and I had to say he raised. And some you good raised points. no good points. So I didn't say. I did. Mean it. I really felt good to throw you. <laughs> no bars in town. I saw him last night. Bring him in. Fucking <laughs> Colin. Beat it. <laughs> Beat it. Well, we were talking about uh, Rich Voss and his dumb smoking. He's got to stop smoking. Yeah, why don't you stop, stupid? I He's quit. almost I smoked three packs a day and I quit. When again? When you quit? Fifteen years. 
Ben will Texas. He but he won't tell us down. why he won't quit. He keeps making excuses. Okay, he's afraid. And uh, setting dates when you he might quit. You want to know why quit. he won't quit? Because I fucking smoke. We all smoke. Jim smoked. He quit. <clears throat> because you're afraid to deal with the sadness and the fear and the anger that's going to come out when you quit smoking. You don't have something to hide behind. Oh, so well, I deal. I deal with anger and fear on a daily basis. Yeah, by by lighting up five packs a day. I know. <laughs> no, that and is... the fetal position. And the... oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, some use the machine. Oh, yeah. He's the fetal. <laughs> Do you know that fire that you were talking about in the hotel room? Yeah, is directly because of your smoking, not because of her candle. She lit a candle to stop the smoke. That's right. No, she was reading tarot cards. No, that's not true. <laughs> if she was reading tarot cards, she's as crazy as you are. <laughs> no, she needs some more. Were you reading tarot cards? No. Were you reading tarot cards by yes. candlelight? <laughs> no, I I get a you know a scented candle. <laughs> oh my God. And it's just for the because it's nice. And it's just right. for the smoke, right? Yeah, I'm aware for of the smoke. Myself, no rip it apart. <laughs> Do you make them open up the anti-suicide windows like that fraction of an uh, inch? Last and, night I was there. Yeah, yeah, you were there puffing out there. It doesn't well, work. Blows it right back into the room. One night I look over, he's in bed with a cigarette, asleep. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's never resulted in thousands Did of deaths. Did you ever see his old apartment on the fucking floor? Dude, it looked like little black snail tails because this fucking lazy Jew kept falling asleep with cigarettes in his hand and dropping. Him on the floor. He's not going to die from lung cancer. He's not going <laughs> to. No, he's just going to burn up. Yeah. He's going to take gonna a bunch of people with yeah. him. He's fucking. He's sanding something, and putting varnish on it, and he falls asleep and fucking kills <laughs> everyone in the house. <laughs> What's a little Richie afraid of when he takes a cigarette away and there's no barriers between him and the world? That's right. What is? I'd like to know too. Yeah. I don't know. I just you know it's. Uh, no, no, just I'm you know, not afraid of anything. What is little Richie? You are. It's addiction, and uh, you know. Right, but where does addiction come from? Pile of ashes. Is it gold chain and teeth? It well, comes well, from, it can come from uh, you feel comfortable sitting there with something blocking, a big wave of smoke blocking you, not only from the uh, world, but from your alleged wife. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's reading the carrot. She's reading the carrot I'm card. By candle life. Yeah. And tea leaves. leaves and yeah, yeah, she's got to read tea leaves. It's modern day knitting when a husband's uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these two are coming up with hobbies so they don't have to hang out with each other. How quick did this <laughs> fall apart? <laughs> yeah. This is the shortest marriage. I no. want to fucking know what exactly. Like you, you are like you know, everyone hides. You, you, you hide your fear yep. behind fucking uh, cigarettes. Other people will hide certain failures behind <laughs> a lot of food the last year and a half. I knew it was coming. I know. Can I hear something? Telegraph acting technique. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't you wish Can't wait to see uh, Lucky Louie, yeah. we call it, King of Queens with cursing. <laughs> Perhaps, Rich, you at, when you started smoking, whatever it was, 20-some years ago, when, how long was it? 20. Okay, 20. so a long time ago. something years you, ago. You needed 31. the cigarettes. Because of your whatever, your fear, your unhappiness. And now you're addicted, but maybe you don't need the cigarettes yeah, anymore. You have maybe a lovely already, bride. Maybe you're better. You should be happier now. I'm very happy. I got a lot. But you uh, scored, I'm, bro. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, he did score, big. The problem is, <laughs> you still want to think I'm Rich Boss, a teenage rebel. You're an old man, a few years away from Boca. Just admit it, and you're the scars. And walk around your new edition could be complaining about your ills. Uh, <laughs> old Jews don't smoke. What's the matter with you? I, I hipped you to Jews. Cigars. <laughs> you leave my stuff alone, Noel. I won't touch your stuff, but you got to stop smoking. I'm going to. I really... Uh, no, yeah. There's no. Set a date. Just set a date. Just set a date. Uh, not set June, a date. But you don't do it. do it for us. You do, do it, it now. now. You don't, you don't how many set times a date. Do I, how many times do I say I want to quit smoking? You don't set All a date. You know what you do? I've you never heard a pack. Say that. Where's your pack? Huh? Here's how you do it. Where's your pack? It's out in the car. You know what? It, and goes, it's, not, it's on. Him. Anthony's what? goes to the old school Ron Conkerman style. Give me the pack. Ron <laughs> 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 Conkerman. In Anthony's families, you just see like one of the uncles come out in like the sh Bermuda shorts with like the sand. Give me the pack. He's smoking. <laughs> Give me the pack. Give me the pack. <laughs> <laughs> quit. There you are. Done. <laughs> but that was how he helped me quit. He fucking, Anthony helped me quit by that the same disgust to just fucking throw the it's pack just, out. You immediately throw it away. And I did. I had one more, and that That's was it. Yeah, because it's Wado or one of these people. Remember? No, it no. was the guy with the thing on his yeah. uh, on his lip jaw. We were playing. What the hell is that? Right. What the hell is that? We had doctors in the studio, Let's and do that people again. Right. people would come up and get free examinations for whatever Weird they shit. got. 
uh, something on their leg, something on there. And this one guy had a bump on his gum line. So the doctor put the glove on, and he's feeling it. He goes, that's a hard lump. That's not good. He goes, you have this checked out immediately. He goes, you smoke? And the guy's like, yeah. And and the guys and then we start talking about how he's gonna look with half a jaw. Well, well the fear on the guy is like, oh god, just tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. I mean, it it, it was supposed to be a fun bit and turned into quit. That guy it was horrific. And one doctor, just to, to add to this, punched out. He's like, I don't want to be part of this. Wow. He yeah, saw he what was in that guy's mouth and said, I'm done. I don't want to be part of this. The guy turned out to not have. Right. Well, we found out a month later, but. When he was trying to go, the guy was like saying, all right, where should I go? What should I do? And watching him try to hang on to his sanity, I'm like, that is exactly what it looks like when you find out you have mouth cancer. Yeah. Was like, that is exactly yeah. a moment. Because the guy was trying to not panic, and that's what's freaking me out. But it was panicking him. Okay, um, <clears throat> where do I go? What, yeah, what, what should I do? Just who try? should I go to check uh, this out? And just, yeah. if, you know, I want the best guy. And I'll never you ever, you ever, day. You ever stop smoking for a limited time because maybe you had something you didn't know what it was, and you're like, uh-oh. Uh-uh. Nothing like that. No. No? No, no. I, I smoke Just set a date, you phony. You did quit for six months. Set a date. You did quit for six months. I quit for six months. Why? What, what spurred that? Uh, I, w I was working in Boston, and I went and saw the Mad Russian. There was a guy from Boston that I went everybody that guy didn't work you want for to see, huh? Yeah. No. He's the, just a douche. It doesn't work for anybody. No, it works for a lot. Oh, yeah. Shut up. I went six months. <laughs> what's, what's the Mad Russian? <laughs> he was some like some fucking guy. You call me a flake for conspiracy theories? Some fucking commie puts his. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you throw my Aussie doll on the milk? <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is turning anything, into one of the weirdest Anything we shows. think somebody might love has to be destroyed. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he it's broke my Aussie trophy doll. on his dumb <laughs> show. That's really oh, funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> his fucking one Aussie trophy. doll. There's a little <laughs> Aussie right thing that Stalker Patty gave me, <laughs> and he just ripped it up and <laughs> put it Oh, oh, things are going bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only person that emails me consistently. Uh, who's the man? So, Rocky? Colin, when's your show on uh, so I can be on again? The man. Mad Russian is this fucking flaky douche in Boston, and you sit there, and he does an energy thing over you, and oh. supposedly makes you quit. Jesus. And I'm an asshole for thinking that it fucking worked my aunt. Why did you go? Yeah, that's really 21 years. How about this? Fuck your aunt. She was ready to quit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, if you're ready to quit, maybe that's a help. That's really maybe impressive. that's a help. <laughs> maybe that's you fun. should do everything you can do. I mean, you should. What? Yeah, get a patch, get hypnotized, do all of it. Yeah, do you not? like the smoking bonnet? Everything. I love it. I don't want him to quit. Subconsciously, uh, <laughs> wants him to die. What you do? Uh, what you do? Even accuse him of that? Huh? You know he has no money. The lost well, fortune. Yeah. It's really not fun to be around somebody who's quitting smoking, and I'm not looking for. How fun that. is he now? <laughs> How much fun could he Did you ever today? smoke, uh, Bonnie? Ever? Yes, I You're did. dead. I took me many tries to quit. And you quit? Yeah, so four years How long now. ago? Four yeah. years. Mm -hmm. You miss it? Um, not, not, actually, I, I, at one point before I started dating Rich, I thought I might actually start again. It's very rough when you hook up with a smoker and you've been... That's right. You've quit for a while because you just pick it right back up again. Well, she drinks and gets high every now and then, so that that was hard too, you know. Trade Stop it trying in. to even it up. Maybe you could handle <laughs> booze now. No, yeah. I can't. Yeah. can't please. <laughs> One of me and you go to a small. I know a smokers thing next week. Next Sunday we'll go. I'll go with you. To a what smokers thing? Yeah, like a smokers uh, meeting. Next Sunday. Yeah, Sunday night. You're not working. Stop back like you are. Wait, what's Sunday? This Sunday? Sunday oh, coming up. Yeah, I'll be out of town. He doesn't even know where I'll, Sunday is anymore. I'll be out of town. What, what, Sunday? Sunday, what? what hey. Between Why Sunday and Monday? <laughs> no good. No good. <laughs> and Colin, as much as I, after that Aussie doll thing, how I really don't want to admit this, <laughs> helped me more than anybody. The thing he said to me, which I don't think you made up, but it was no. he said to me, the urge to quit to, to smoke will pass whether you smoke or not. And that was yeah. as so perfectly... Simplistic. As well, it's I the same it. as drinking and getting. Shut up! Stop trying to act like <laughs> you too understand this. Smoking. Rich loves to be the expert yeah, on uh, addiction. He'll just jump in. Oh please! I, every, I, listen, what? listen, you got. Look at Bonnie. Guess what? Every guy's like that. Hey, no matter who you married, you'd be miserable every time they open their mouth. Boss, are you going to the Freedom Center? 
What the fuck is the Freedom Center? That's the laser therapy thing. First of all, somebody goes, what the fuck? You know they're doing it. Huh? In Staten Island? Welcome to Freedom Laser Therapy. What does lasers do to make you stop smoking? Freedom from smoking addiction. In Staten Island. I don't know. They probably make a good cigarette lighter. He's done no research. Light it up with a laser? He's done no research on it. None. Someone said laser. Someone said it to him. Dummy thought technology is easy. It's the future. No problem. They'll take out that little that little that little cell that makes me smoke. Stupid. He thinks they're gonna. Do Dave some Moore kind of Dow brain thing. Told you about it. What's no. their uh, What's the gimmick really, here? They don't really. Explain. Oh, good. It's vague. It's lasers and yeah. it's vague. Low Gosh. level laser therapy. Hold on. I think I have. You a... don't have to wear contacts anymore. They use some kind <laughs> of Jedi mind shit on you. You don't need that cigarette anymore. <laughs> you have no need to smoke. You'll feel you great as soon as you hit Sunday when you get back in town. We'll go to a place. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. We got Tyler in Columbus. Tyler for Rich hey, Voss. Guys. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, I got you guys were just talking about that guy that uh, had the big lump in his mouth uh, from years ago. Yeah. Uh, my father-in-law uh, got the big casino in his jaw, and, and uh, about a month ago he just had it removed. Um, he's uh, about, what are you, boss, about uh, in your 40s? Yeah. Good call. He's 84. What did he have? The big what? Just cancer. cancer. The, oh. the big casino. <laughs> oh, I thought he had like Caesars or Bally's. No, he's uh, actually had <laughs> cancer in his mouth twice now. No headphones? <laughs> and, uh, for Rich? No, for fun. Rich. For Colin. Colin. Hey, uh, Why would there be headphones for somebody that's in studio with us? Okay. Look. Why, would, uh, why? Why would we have that? Colin actually took a toilet paper tube to his ear and he put it to <laughs> Rich's head. A great photo of He's hearing the <laughs> sea. Wait, that's <laughs> wacky. So, uh, that's wacky. Wait, so he had uh, his, he had his whole jaw removed, not the tumor. Uh, yeah, they had, they had to take his uh, the cancer spread through actually the bone in there his jaw. There you go. There you go, boss. Uh, and, right, and, the, and actually that, the veins maybe. and everything in his jaw, and they had to remove the whole damn thing and rebuild it. They took like hip from or bone from his hip and skin from his chest and legs and made him a new jaw, but he's all. Oh, hey, boss, stop it! Did this guy tell me? I know. This guy right I know. Now, this these stories. Up. If I'm not fucking ready. Yeah. I by know. the way, caller, you uh, know what? You're, during your story, Rich was checking uh, his, his bookings <laughs> no, on was, his Palm Pilot no, thing. I was trying. He's to, not even. No, I was trying to find the, the quit smoking thing right here, and I found the uh, the uh, link. Uh, website or whatever. No, I mean, people... Yeah, right next to the link to buy cigarettes online. <laughs> uh, do you... and all that, you know, all that shit. But it's like, uh, you know, when you see it, like I'm sitting across the room from the guy, and it's like tongues, his dead tongue, his tongue died. They had to remove that too. So like, eighty percent. That wouldn't be. So all right, bad there's an upside to the whole thing. <laughs> but wait a second. From what well, was that from smoking? Yeah, it was from smoking. Or chewing they, tobacco. No, he didn't chew. They said he got the cancer from. Uh, uh, they told him he was going to get cancer in his mouth from smoking. Find and, another uh, way to justify and it. Sure yeah, Philtolis. Yeah. One hundred. Is he a Christian? <laughs> Plus, it's not going to help those tombstones you call teeth. You're turning gray from smoking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyler. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Here's what I'm, I'm sorry you didn't get the reaction you were looking for. I'm, yeah, I'm Voss, for no, he's got a point. Which is Voss has to have the guts to go to a cancer get a war. car crash, yeah. so it's all good. No, uh, you're fine. Thanks. All right. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? April 22nd. Why April? That's My ex-wife's idea. birthday. Why are you <laughs> picking a date? <laughs> he's supposed to pick a date. Is that it? I've done all that stuff. I just quit. I once was just like Rich Voss. Really? Oh, I tried it all. The the Mad Russian, all uh, of them. Uh, well, here's uh, here's where Rich is going. Oh, the laser thing. Now, what do they do? It's a therapy <laughs> you can't even pronounce. Oracular therapy. That's why Voss picked. It's the one. Per, it's the one is word it he say, can't Something like <laughs> ocular. A U R. Natural. A U R. A U R. What do they go through your ear? I C U L O therapy. Auricular. Auricular. All right. There Wait you go. a minute. If this involves your fucking ear, here we go. It's, what is it? It's a non-invasive form of acupuncture, no That's, needles. It utilizes a minor electrical impulse to stimulate I acupuncture points too. in the outer ear. Good I did that one, too. It didn't work. Really? Dopey nope. ass. Why do you think a laser beam in your ear is going to stop you from smoking? It might Try stop the cysts that are in the back of my yeah, ear. Yeah, it's going to it's going to stop boiling the cyst, and the doctor's going to drop dead. I'm surprised you can light. I thought the uh, you know. 
the, the, the wetness would put your cigarettes out immediately. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Spit them out. <laughs> this, uh, this, is, this technique's been used for pain, addictions, and a host of many other functions. I did it. It didn't work. How no. you didn't work. It? It's new. I did it. They didn't have it back it's then. It's new. <laughs> I did it, it was new. He did it when it was the acupuncture. You know what? Were you were know how stupid Voss is? It says around the website that they've been doing this since 500 B.C. in China. I haven't checked the website <laughs> out yet. No. It's <laughs> No, like gunpowder. <laughs> what are you, a pterodactyl? They Your invent, may be, but... They, inv <laughs> they invented the wheel and then this technique yeah. the next day, but it's new to Voss. <laughs> it's the, it's the newest thing since the stone tool. Fucking <laughs> Voss. I haven't actually gone to the website yet. It's new. Forget about it. 500 B.C. <laughs> in no. China. I hit you. Acupuncture. Oh. <laughs> Every time I went to get like acupuncture, Norm McDonald goes, You know, that's great stuff because I was injured. He goes, They've used that for millions of years in China. Yeah. I go, Yeah. He goes, Yeah, then they invented medicine. So they didn't have to use it. You guys are always had a TV quote each other. What? Oh, <laughs> I wish I had a car. No, I'm, I don't want to use the car crash. I want to. I want a clip of him lighting up. <laughs> what did right. Kevin Nealon have to say about it? I tell you the truth. Honestly, I should never come on Opie and Anthony again. Why? Why? Because of New Year's Eve, guys. It's not your fault. Why Just the fact that I pull up. Us? I pull up on 69th Street and. Uh, uh, whatever it's called, you know, not King of Prussia. Yeah. And uh, right outside of Philly. Yeah. Philly. And there's a sign. I'm sure you should have the t Jim Norton, big letters. Rich Voss, big letters. Colin Quinn, mini letters. Oh, he, he, he took a picture. Yeah. yeah. And then he made a t shirt. Made a t -shirt. Can you imagine yeah. all jokes aside, even the Opie and Anthony crowd? I came on stage and go, folks, that hurt. And they laughed. They knew exactly what it was called. <laughs> yeah. well, can you imagine how bad his career is? He doubled up on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> he left there and went and did another gig in Atlantic City. Okay? <laughs> Fucking idiot. It's New Year's Eve. Somebody, somebody cancel Atlantic City. Get Colin. We know he's open. You're pushing. It was doing good. Yeah, yeah, I got greedy. Yeah, yeah. I got greedy. He and he did. reached for the coffee. But, yeah. uh, that's always a sign. I'll distract him with the lifting of the Look, coffee. I Colin, finish. Colin killed <laughs> on New Year's Eve and yeah, gave me the best intro in the world. Actually, that was an unbelievable show. I did, right? I I shut that crowd. First of all, you're one of the best comics in the country. It's true. You, you really never knew are. that until people told you, but thank no, you. No, I fucking... I no, you I never knew that. We even TiVoed your HBO special. That's when it all started with him, when he first hated me. No, I never hated him. He Boss, never let... Boss, let's be honest. I love you. No. A tough crowd. I looked past my own, the fact that you were too dumb to realize I was funny till Norton. I just thought his HBO you. special wasn't one of the best. I said, after I saw it, I called cable and canceled HBO. And oh. he got mad, right? But he's That's not really, what it was. For years. He thought... What was it? What, when we did a roast at Caroline's. Uh, I wasn't at this roast. It was him and some other idiots. And he goes... And, he, you know, roasts are all jokes that are funny if you believe them. One of his jokes was, and, of course, I have my little snitches telling me. <laughs> years ago, before, before Tough Guy, he goes, the luckiest people in the world, Sue Costello and Colin Quinn. <laughs> and this is his mentality towards me. Then he brings me on stage one night. I was doing, like, these one-liners, but I pretend it was in a poem form, kind of ironically, which was my first what? mistake. He goes, up, he goes, you know, and I bombed. And, he, and this was in the middle of, like, a tough patch in my career. He goes, I don't do jokes. I mean, I don't do puns. I do fucking jokes. <laughs> and you're like, hey. Oh, no. It was just you this type fuck. of oh, Fucking no. Larry can't let go. First of all, he remembers all these Larry, dumb you things. Right this, you were right You were right to say that. What? That's what you fucking get for trying to be Andy Kopp and shit that Go up yeah. there and fucking tell Andy Kopp? They were <laughs> jokes. <laughs> um, shut up. But they were jokes. Let you were right there. Some... You were still in Jersey. Dickory, dickory, duh. Exactly. Yeah. Fucking Louis C.K. told you to act like Andy Kaufman. You'd have the suit on tomorrow. So shut the fuck up. Okay? All right? You'd be fucking... You know what's so funny? Could... It's like he was sticking up for you. Like, he was... It, it gets all it gets crazy. All... I don't know. That's, That's just the beauty of it. Tank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going after the jellyfish, you little That's fuck. beauty. Let me tell you something. First of all, I've always... Every radio show I go on, everywhere I go, I, I always know, fucking bring up comedy. After I put you in Tough Crowd, you realize that was funny. You no, know, before Tough Crowd. How no, was, I, I love you, but you're too dumb to realize how funny I am. How about this? You Either kidding? you fucking stop groveling <laughs> no, or you let him grovel. All right. One of the two. Good Here's point. The thing. There's three comics I bring up on the radio. You, him, and Patrice. Okay? I always knew Colin was funny. Okay? Always. It's just that he didn't prove himself. 
<laughs> you know, fucking, he's a brilliant guy, you know, and I know he's going to get back. I can't even believe you're walking Boy. around without Nick DiPaolo <laughs> hanging on your coattail today. Uh, oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, fuck him. You had to go there. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? Well, they had a little material difference. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Colin, you got any uh, gigs we're promoting, or are you just nope. hanging? Say, you just interview. No, how about this? Whatever gigs I'm promoting, chances are he'll show up and do a few minutes up front. We don't get it. Oh, that one. Yes, you do, stupid. <laughs> oh, I, but I'm not getting a laugh. It, no, it bombed, <laughs> but it was kind of true. It felt good. When you open for, no, when you open for Norton, it would be fine if I had He gives you a checklist of bits oh, you can't do. Really? Laugh. Yeah, when Norton, you open for Norton, he gives you a checklist. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do oh. this. It's a whole subject thing, didn't you yeah. know? No, well, that night, him just sitting there like, uh, like with that serious attitude, like, hey, guys, and he has his little dressing room. I, well, he didn't, I messed up all his food. I smashed his sandwiches. I put all kinds of, and he didn't even eat any of it. But he's got like a special <laughs> thing where he's got to have every kind of. Yeah. Uh, he's got he is very rider. finicky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's got a rider guy. with little things about what he wants to dress. Yeah. yeah. Four bottles of uh, unopened water and, and a big black cock. <laughs> <laughs> that crackle is Colin's pinky hitting the antenna on the. Yeah, that's why I moved. I tried to move your yeah. hand before, but you don't. You don't have to. Yeah, pull. There you go. Up. You yeah, kill. How to hold it. it? There you go. Like that. There you go. You, you got to hold it what tight. Do? You just kept hitting the thing like that's the antenna. There you go. Just hold it like that. I know that's. Maybe we could get a stand for him. I'll, I'll give him my it mic. It doesn't matter. Oh, all right, we'll take <laughs> a figure out. I'm going to give him my Colin mic. Colin Quinn, uh, just hanging. Rich uh, Voss in Cleveland, where? Cleveland Improv this week with uh, Bonnie and Rich Voss. Uh, and, uh, and Jimmy's going to be in Poughkeepsie at Poughkeepsie Bananas. Poughkeepsie at oh, yeah, Bananas. Bananas? Yes. Finally, he's Great. moving back in the direction he belongs. <laughs> <laughs> where were those big, where were those big <laughs> theater gigs? <laughs> Loser. When the Wait, HBO show on. comes. Hold on. It's not going to change nothing when the HBO show <laughs> comes. Can I, shut up. I I've answer. been back and I've been up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to answer your question as to when those theater gigs are. I have uh, the event center at the Bogota Casino with Dave Attell uh, in May going on sale Saturday and the Orpheum in Boston going on sale, I believe. Uh, with Attell? Sure. Yes. And the Orpheum? Yes. Both of them with Attell, huh? Yes. Why don't you throw Dane Cook on to make sure you don't uh, you know, empty out the place? Oh, <laughs> Who's closing? Dave. Why? Why don't you get Lewis Black? Thank you. And if I would have said me, you would have said why. No. <laughs> <He's got a laughs> black. Who's There's hosting? Answer to that. Hey, who's Question. hosting? We don't know yet, but don't even think about it. You Why? fucking perpetual host. No. I'm a great host. Exactly. You're not hosting. <laughs> right, we're gonna, You're I'm not hosting. I'm fucking myself on your belt. And the, fucking the bury both of you fucking humps. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break. Hey, when we get back, uh, we got a lot of comedians in the studio, obviously. America's Funniest Mom, season two started. Uh, oh, oh. It's got to be hysterical. I vote for Yates. <laughs> <laughs> The show continues through the break. Anthony's been showing uh, Colin Quinn pal talk. The, pal, the girls at pal talk. We like introducing them to uh, anybody that's come in and hasn't seen pal talk yet. And Colin uh, seems to like Oh, it. my God, do I like it. It's whipping out Wednesday, and the girls are flashing boobs and everything else on pal talk today. Yeah, we got one up here, uh, Red Room 6. Uh, just sitting there in a little short skirt. Oh, my God. And Amanda whoa. Panda, she's not playing. Yeah. And uh, she's in her little skirt, and there's no panties on under there. Ooh. So what we are seeing is her in her pierced glory. She doesn't have any underpants. No underpants at all. Ooh. You see that kid that went to Capitol Hill that was doing all the computer sex? He made all the money, and now he snitched everybody I out. I know. What yeah, a little now he's a rat. He, he makes a fortune, and then he just drops and he's a like, dime. And they did this, and I... And my father goes, I'll help you really maximize the business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the worst. How old was he? Um, 15. He started at he started, 15. Oh, I thought he started at 13. Was he just jacking off on camera? Or was he well, banging? First, yeah, they were telling him to take, he was a phony. They were telling him to take <laughs> oh, his shirt off. Jeez, come on. Amanda, we're trying to... <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's she doing? It's ridiculous. Amanda Ooh. Panda is... Uh, she's sucking her own bosom. Yeah, she's got a nip in her mouth. That's Hot. lovely. I think up. that kid, that 15-year-old kid should... Uh, I hope he ends up on the Duke lacrosse team. <laughs> <laughs> How about that phony story? How many brothers jump on the young white girls on the b-ball teams? Nobody says yeah. worse. <laughs> yeah. They hired groupies. A, they hired what? a black stripper, right, for a party. They're groupies. How do you know? Was a white guy raped a black girl? Is that what? They, was that why they're talking? Well, they hired a black. I guess they hired a black stripper for one of their uh, parties. Well, right? they hired her to strip and do some housework, and well, things got out of hand. Is that what you're saying? Things got a little out of hand. It'll it'll happen. First of all, they're a lacrosse team. Who gives a fuck about them? 
Well, that's a good point. I didn't even know people still play lacrosse. Do you guys want the audio of the 13-year-old porn boy from the Today Show? You or bet we do. Or America's Funniest Moms, Season 2. Oh. Funniest oh. Moms. America's Mom. Funniest Moms. Honestly, the mom, Funniest Moms, because in today's world, you need a laugh. Yes, especially if you're a mom. It's you so know? hard to handle the kids and uh, the oh, life the whole thing style is ridiculous. And, and, uh, and be funny. Well, is Paula Bell on there? So, I don't know. Is she a mom? She first, works in a house. Their house or whatever moms. they do. They have a house, too? They had a hotel, or they went to a hotel. The first clip is Paula, so I guess so. Is it Paula? Is Paula she funny? Paula? Yeah, I like Paula. Yeah, she's pretty aggressive and abrasive on stage. She's well, they're trying to find the They the took her kids mom. away from her, uh, if that helps. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> exactly. That's America's funny. smartest mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's listen to Paula. All ah, right. Let's meet our first semifinalist. Paula Bell, show her some love. I'm Paula Bell. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Being a mom has inspired my comedy. I have one daughter that's in love with me and one who's not too fond of me, so that's, there's a lot of humor in that. In any town I go to, I'm a regular average-sized human being. In Hollywood, I'm a big, huge, fat slog. Everybody's so thin, girls are walking in and out of doors without opening it. Well, I'm a little schizophrenic, you know. I'm married too young. Somebody should have stopped that ceremony. <laughs> Walking down the aisle with a backpack on. <laughs> All the young girls, they want to go down the aisle, parachute down in the big dress. <laughs> Taking those little steps. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> you know why they have you take those little steps? To get used to the shackles. <laughs> it's not marriage, it's Shawshank. <laughs> What have we got here? A fucking comedian. <laughs> First of all, why is there music? Sorry to interrupt, Trish. Why is there fucking a music band? I'll tell you why. Band? They weren't confident in the in the material. <laughs> right. So they Shit. overproduced the hell out of it. What do you laugh tracks? Music <laughs> beds uh, hide <laughs> awfulness. Bam. Down. Down. Well, this comedy is the new rock and roll of the '80s. <laughs> how, fun, how funny can you be on these network shows? She goes yeah, out with Brian Holt. Have you seen the Tonight Show when I'm on it? Pretty fucking funny. Hey, oh, yes, you're damn true. right. That that's true. right. Jimmy Darn, not like that, but I know one guy that really stepped up on the uh, oh. network show, Rich Voss. Boy, when he was ironing away, <laughs> he found a piece of business. What was it like to sit home and watch me? Uh, what were you eating? <laughs> to sit home and watch you on that show? It was, you know, I felt kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I Why sat there you... envious. Damn it. If only I could have been on that nightmare. <laughs> Why would you have thrown him that fucking underhanded pitch? <laughs> what was it like? Go ahead, sir. I wonder if they force you on that show to do gynocentric, though, material. Yeah. Yeah. What? Gynocentric. Girl stuff. How you still mad? Gynocentric. Oh, what a great relationship. And he goes, what? Girl stuff. It's like George and Gracie, only he's Gracie. <laughs> But Girl it was stop. every joke Crazy. was. Oh. You guys should do the pride the relationship should be that on stage. <laughs> right. I know Cedric what? And he got the yeah. editor because he feels like he's she's embarrassing him in front of the front. Yeah. I'll say Don't words and he, he'll say nobody says those words, but they're just uh. everyday oh, words. Oh yeah, well, no, but nobody them. says yeah. them yeah. in the circles in which he's traveled. <laughs> which is two eighty seven. Give us an example. W. Give us an example. What was one of the words that she uses? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I don't remember them. There's oh. no way I would know them. You know that one you said the other day. It's just it, she tries to fucking show I don't off. Try. What was this part of her vocabulary? What word that you didn't know? I... Moral courage. <laughs> <laughs> Those two words. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we got Donna, the fat black comic. Well, she's my name is Donna Mary. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, 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 <laughs> would crazy. just open up so many different doors that I've been trying to kick down for yeah. so long. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get ready to reintroduce myself and I want y'all to clap oh, like y'all invited me over for dinner and I told y'all no yeah. the audience was really great and um, they gave me love and I gave them love back I'm sorry I'm late but um, they ran out of big towels at the hotel and I had to drive with a face cloth I know that feeling oh, uh, wow. oh yeah but that's good that's funny because everybody has that feeling when you have a small town <laughs> seven <laughs> 
<laughs> seven out of ten black comics get introduced and they go, that ain't enough. I'm going to walk off and come back out. I want you guys. And that's what you did. I want you show guys to show some love. Show some Oh, before show some yeah, love. It's, no, uh, you know, and then, stop. then they get the applause. You know, uh, how many people like air and shit like that? You know, how many people? <laughs> how many people out here, babe? No applause. Uh, Remember what? that guy? Oh. That we were at this club and um, this like guy every. Uh, he he just kept asking questions to the audience and then they'd applaud and I said to Rich ask when he comes back to the green room like yeah. how great he did like he got five applause breaks and the guy goes yeah they're a nice crowd I did I did well <laughs> oh <laughs> god <laughs> damn <laughs> how many yeah the how many people yeah. applause break and he was yeah. like eh, is there Catholics in the audience do we have cat you know uh, so he goes back and I go man you killed how many applause breaks you get he goes like six right I did well yeah they liked me every MC you work with on the road is horrific. <laughs> right? Kala was the only good MC. That, uh, oh, no. Do you see how big this stupid Duke story is? is? This about you understand fucking, how yeah. divided by this country is race. so phony? How about the fucking Daryl, the little John? Why don't they talk about that? The way he fucking uh, raped that white girl. They don't talk about that. Well, oh, she no. was actually Filipino. Whatever the fuck stupid. she was, she was asking for it. <laughs> well, you know, Whoa. this is how. No, he only said that because he was ashamed when he realized she wasn't meaning white. There was no, not dumb. no, meaning there was no racial implications. I know, but uh, exactly. The point is, it's it's white media going, oh, oh. let's try to absolve ourselves in case there's a riot. They won't hit us. Right. It's fucking liberal. Why did you admit that all these incidents that happen with athletes 90% of the time, it's a black athlete's doing it to white people? They just did on Dateline, they did a thing with in, uh -oh. in cabs where, where they had, no, where they had the, the driver, oh, no, where go. they had the driver baiting the passengers and talk about racial stuff. Uh -huh. And they had, you know, a white driver have them talk about Jews, have them talk about Chinese and every but can't they have any black driver with a with black passengers well, talking they about don't white pick people. Up black people. No, oh, they, yeah. no, but you see what I'm saying? It made everybody they look bad. They tried to but do that part of the story, but... <laughs> the cab drivers were like, man, yeah. Man. Well, let me ask you something. When somebody brings up a subject, like I just put up like a nationally sweeping subject, don't you go from a specific thing like the cab thing into a national thing, not the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Was he was giving a... a, a he was a, giving one example. I understand he what he was doing. He was giving an example so that you knew he understood. I know, but it was really... It, it just took all the wind out of everything. <laughs> well, maybe... If you stood there with a pool stick in your hand, it would have been a lot better. I, didn't I don't get, get it. that. I guess tough crowd. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that there was a racial. I didn't know that there was yeah. a black girl that they were. Uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. That's why it's a big deal. That's why it's him. a big deal. It makes me wonder who I hate more, white people or black people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you are profound. I like That's Filipinos. <laughs> I don't know any Fili She wasn't Filipino, by the way. I like to fill them up with Pino. She's oh, you still pissed because really? you were wrong? Shut up. And she wasn't take Filipino. It. She was closer to Filipino than white, so but at least you're admitting that you don't. It. At least you're admitting you don't know what she was. Yeah, I'm saying she was Filipino. And I like to fill them up with Pinos. Oh, stop. <laughs> All right. You're guessing. Here, here's another clue. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. She wasn't Filipino. Uh, you see these, her eyes? By the way, are these single, funniest single moms, or these are just I moms? No, just moms. Just moms. And yeah, there's they a lot of them. Still talking Duke. about Duke. It's well, the big story on it's, CNN. It's one of the big stories out there right now. Play the Sally Field clip. <laughs> Which one? Oh my God! From he goes back. Line? How old is oh that movie? Oh my move? God! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That new A movie, Punchline. Punch punch line. Line. Wow. They had lockers. Probably it's right. Had lockers. It's right. <laughs> it's right there with the acupuncture. <laughs> it's new. Acupuncture. <laughs> well, then we got this story too that we were supposed to get to. Cindy McKinney, yeah. She. she all right, we got a. How about a, a one more Filipino too, shithead? <laughs> Let's go to uh, America's Funniest Mom, season two. Here's good old. You knew what I was trying to say. Here's good old Jess. I'm Jess J. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I just want to show that females are just as funny as the guys. Shut up! Dressing real nice, real pretty. I can't do that anymore because I have a 204 month old. <laughs> I couldn't be funny without my son. He's my whole act, and I wouldn't have anything else to say. Uh. I blame my mother the reason why we got beat up all the time. I do. I grew up in an inner city. She gonna raise me like we lived in the suburbs. You know, we gonna have book club meetings and stuff. Fine, they find out we can read. You know what they gonna do to me? I won. Can I get my check? Ladies, go home. Your kids are calling. That's why I am America's funniest mom. Uh, not only can you not be funny without your kids, you couldn't also get government assistance without them. He can't stutter on any of the words on radio. <laughs> I hate when shit comics are like, 
Oh, I, I just want to prove that women are funny. It's been proven. There's been lots of really good female comics before your dumbass came exactly. along. Exactly. Well, Such a like. Slow down. Mom's Mabelie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That new one, Mom's Mabelie. <laughs> Mini Pearl. That price tag cracks me up. <laughs> like Bonnie's starting to send something. Go ahead, Bonnie. Say yeah. it. No, Go that's ahead, fine. You're sensing the, the boy to kind of like matter. Go ahead. Say Come on, it. Bonnie. It's just disrespectful to every other female comic. So uh, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it. That is true. There was so, that guy. <laughs> Uh, there, there are plenty of guy comics that stink. That's right. But since there aren't as many girl comics as guy comics, well, the ratio there, there's more girl comics. That's that exactly right. Now, who's good? Is and the other mistake. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say Marina. That she's we stay at the funny. cellar all the time. She's working with me in Poughkeepsie this weekend. <laughs> if her fucking manager would stop asking for eight grand. That's the funny. Wow. Don't go Jason she's... Steinberg. What? You go, who's funny, Marina? That's like going, I had a colored friend in high school. Colors. I mean, she is funny, but just... I don't give a shit if she's black. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'll tell you why I think she's funny. No, 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 she doesn't black. do the typical, you know, female comic bullshit. No, she's I'm just saying, a funny, I can be, funny yeah, No, I wasn't saying because she's black. What are you going to quit smoking? Listen. Like, you could get tons of funny... I, I mean, get, Judy Gold, I think, is funny. Yeah, but... Uh, but what about Marina? Marina's great. I had her open for me at the well, fire. Uh, Marina? For Keith All the I'm saying is, like... I, I don't I'm with Anthony. Yeah. No, I, the stereotypical female comic, it's so played out. It's like, we get it. No, you're right. If the they kid do, jokes about the still fucking dating. The mom is still... Oh, if I don't get a husband soon, my right. mom... Right. Well, why do I feel like the girl on the, on the right hand side jokes. is being forced, and there's two bikers right off camera... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pal dog. That's the best kind of porn when they, they yeah. don't want to be yeah. doing it. Gun points. <laughs> all right, why don't we uh, see what Joy's all about? America's Funniest Mom. I love kids. I love to play with kids. Oh. I'm Emily J. I'm from Roy City, Utah. My sister has a little baby, and she brought him over to my house last week, so I went and got a ball, and I rolled it to him, and he screamed, and he wouldn't roll it back. I guess bowling just isn't his sport. <laughs> I love the one-liners. That's my favorite. <laughs> so last week, my son brought home a uh, ferret, and he said, Hey, Ma, do we have anything warm we can put over it? And I said, Sure. How about the Buick? I love the little oh. hand gesture you do. Oh, oh yeah. That's a great, like, little touch. I've met a bunch of the other moms, and at first I was kind of intimidated by them. I thought, oh, they're all so funny. They're all so funny, and they're funnier than me. This sounds like therapy, doesn't it? Who's the Buick line legend? was good. She actually, I like that. She's hurting a child with a bowling ball and killing a little a ferret with a car. That's yeah, I did right. like that. It's both abusive fucking angry like jokes. All right. That's it. All right. She, she, tell her she wins. Show. No, but she sounded like Rita Rudner too much. Yeah, she, she didn't, didn't have so. that Rita Rudner voice, though. delivery. Oh, Rich. <laughs> Here's Lisa, the hot one. I'm Lisa Alvarado from Los Angeles, California. When we used to sit, my whole family around the TV and watch Bill Cosby, the whole room was just electric with laughter. And I'm like, they? I want to know how to do that. I am Latina. My last name yeah. is Alvarado, which is Spanish for single parent. <laughs> my experiences today, it was hard because of the way I look. I knew that they expected me not to be funny. Lisa, can you go get us some chicken? <laughs> I can get you a little can of whoop ass. Oh. I think I proved them wrong tonight. I'm not even the typical Latina, you know. I don't fit in just because I was pregnant in my late teens, you know. <laughs> my mom was total pressure. She's, hurry up. Your little brother's already a grandfather. <laughs> That's funny. Parlamentia. That's funny as we pay for all of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, another 200 a month out of you. That was my respect. <laughs> that was the joke I just did a second ago what when I said, what? Uh, what government assistant. Oh, yeah, you can't just blurt out government assistant. <laughs> yeah. oh. And first of all, her kid doesn't even live with her. Half of these moms, her kids don't live with them. They're living in another state Who with cares? their... What are you doing, an expose on the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't. You're working for Dateline now? <laughs> How do you even know that? <laughs> we found that these... Parents aren't even really parents. Half of their acts. Well, I heard you're not what really ducking your daughter over that thing. I heard you're not ducking your daughter over that loan, shit, Ed. Oh, my God. You're really living in an together. orphanage. You know, those new buildings they put. <laughs> This is Who does she think level he is, Nutsy Fagan? <laughs> <laughs> She's just a big sister. This guy's going nuts on uh, the phone here. Brian, what's the is. problem? Oh, you you got to kill this. This is this is awful. I can't even listen to this. 
This is like the, the, the comic equivalent of the, the women's basketball with the, like, spastic layups. It, it's, it's not, they're, they're not funny. Wasn't everyone excited to watch the uh, NCAA Women's Championship? Oh, dude, I, I mean, oh, one of them will fantastic. eventually get to the Liberty. <laughs> that's great. I tried watching it, but then I was like, <laughs> they, they bring I don't it. like good I'll tell you, they bring it a little better. Oh, they are. Cares. They almost they can play. Guys they're guys fucking playing. Like women boxes. Boxes. Colored. Women boxes Deal. can box. Yeah, let them fight fucking Mitch Blood Green. <laughs> they can't box. Women can't box. Have you seen some no, of they can box. boxing they men? They, men. They, they, some they can't box a man. Yeah, some of them could. No, wow. they can't. A this guy? Tough Put him in a ring with now. Chuck Liddell in the octagon. Exactly. That's what I want to see. I want to see that animal ah. rip her tits off and shove him down her throat. Chuck Liddell. <laughs> Chuck Liddell, maniac. He's the most undefined badass ever. Oh, <laughs> what no an definition. animal. And yeah, no definition. No definition whatsoever, but he will kill you. Yeah, he'll kill you. Want to listen to more of this crap? No, go ahead. I don't know. I kind of like her, though. She has some good ones. Oh. I'm Sherry Davy. I'm the mother of a beautiful daughter. Yeah, I've lived in this country oh. so many years. People are still mimicking me like mad. It's incredible. Like, I walked into the theater tonight. This woman overheard me speak. She's like, oh, my God, you're English. Whoa. Cup of tea. I'm like, you're laughing. I don't talk like that. And how come it's okay to make fun of me, but it's not okay to go up to somebody else and be like, oh my God, you're Indian. Oh, goodness gracious me, welcome to my convenience store. How come that's not okay? Whoa. I am not a British woman. I am an American with an English accent. I wasn't raised here, but I was born in New Jersey. So I'm an American. And Americans do come with funny accents. If you don't think that, then you haven't been to Tennessee. You write it on your hand? Yes, this is what I always do. This is my thing. This is my you ritual. You know it. I do know it. You know it. But you know what? I've just oh, touched your bosom. My yes, husband did. Did. Believe it or not, I do live in Brooklyn. It's a very hard place, very tough. It's the first place I ever heard the expression, move your freaking wheelchair. I'm not kidding you. Somebody said that, I swear to God. And it was a blind guy. I'm not kidding you. Oh, English oh. Joan Rivers, so... Oh. I'm not kidding you. As soon as you say I'm not kidding you, it's... Oh, not I mean, you are kind of kidding, kidding you. Uh, I'm what not is, kidding. America's, fu uh, America's Funniest Mom should be sponsored by a coat hanger company. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's an atrocious fucking show. <laughs> yeah, we gotta hear not. Donna Lee. I'm what man. network is this on? Uh, yeah, what is um, W. Black. <laughs> Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Is it really? It's wow, look at that. It's not bad. Oh, so there has to be. Anybody watching cool. the Midget Show? By the way. What's that? Were they whites and blacks tra trade places? No, no. no. Oh, Which one is it? That. The midgets. Yeah, yeah. Little people, big the world. Family of midgets. Oh. oh, best show on TV. And then one of the kids TLC. ain't a midget. What's yeah. it on? Two midgets oh, or dwarfs, the whatever channel. they are, got together and they had four kids. Oh. Three are normal size. And uh, and one and one's is, luck of the draw. Should, and the yeah. one that's not normal size has a twin brother that's normal size. I want to do a show on Patty's building. Starring Patty. <laughs> like a Mary Tyler Moore with all those degenerates and psycho <laughs> ex-convict murderers that you live in that building. You know the degenerates that must live in that Hope building. can turn the world on. With <laughs> with the smile. At, the end, at the end, she throws up her wig and Opie hides it. <laughs> <laughs> Who can make a nothing day and suddenly make it even more nothing. <laughs> Well, if no one has seen the show, then forget about it. <laughs> you should check it out on TLC. I want to see it. Uh, TLC has become the, the freak uh, network. And what happens if yeah. people bully them and make fun of them? No, they live on a farm and, uh, I don't know, it's under the guise of, you know, understanding. Did the animals and... attack them? Uh, <laughs> they have to enter through the dog door. A lot of footstools. <laughs> you can always tell who the, you can always tell when the fucking, the one midget kid answers, it's like, ring. What? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know the executive's like, I'll tell you one thing, I don't know much, but I know people are going to keep the TV on when you see a cow chasing a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to T Jason in North Carolina. Jason, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, is there yeah. anything? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Are you uh, panicking hey, on us? Hey, go, man. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm moving into the house right now. I'm kind of... I'm kinda... Hey, I just want to tell Colin real quick. Hey, man, I was out at Kirk Phillips last year when you came out and did your show. I really appreciate it, and the, the the Marines really enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, do you live near Duke? No. no what do you I'm think of that whole nonsense? Yeah, I'm on the coast. I'm over. I'm about two hours away from uh, Raleigh, Durham. Oh, I like it, Wilmington. Yeah, right. Yeah, right up there in Camp Lejeune. Nice. Well, thanks, yeah, man. man. My, right. It was hey, my thanks, pleasure. Guys, love the show. Talk to you later. Push All down. right. Thank you, guys. All right. Very good. Uh, we'll go on to the next mom, Donna Lee. 
I'm Donna Lee McBride. I'm the mother of one. My mom is Thai and my dad is Irish, so I'm Tyrish. <laughs> I thought, though, it could be worse. If my mom was from Canada and my dad was from Chile, I'd be a can of chili. Does this come in a 3X? Because this is fabulous. I'm not sure. My mom lives on a tiny little ranch in Texas. I called her as soon as I found out I was coming to New York, and I was so excited. And she said, oh, don't I have the goose nipple? And I said, you have goose pimples? And she said, that's what I say, I have the goose nipple. Oh, Mom. I think people oh, understand cross-cultural humor because if they don't have a family member, they have an experience or a friendship or something that they probably... Or rape, hatred, <laughs> something. <laughs> they, these girls haven't had enough pain in their life to be funny, you could tell. They're just, they were thrown into this house. Paula has... Paul goes out with that guy, Brian Holtzman, okay, who's hilarious. But you could tell they're just... Ugh. You're in deep trouble. You better say something funny. I know, I get, that I was know. the worst train of thought I've ever heard. I know. How about this? How about this? We all just on my uh, the we two days I actually it. went on uh, whatever that's called uh, Atkins. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had nothing on that one. Oh, it was a good one. The two days I went. Oh, my MySpace. So this girl writes this letter. And it's like, ask, tell me what you think. So I thought it was gonna be her flash of the tits, of course. I go on to some amateur comic. Do people do, if you do, if you have family there, will you dare do a joke that's going to be offensive to your family? So it's like 12 responses from open micers. All just say blah, blah, blah. Then the last response, if it's honest, you got to do it. Voss. No I way. Said that. Oh, well, I said, uh, no. No uh, way. Why are you bothering to First, answer these? A lot of people, can I just say I, something? You're filling out questionnaires. A lot of people will, will write in as rich. So no. it's not really he, rich. He didn't no. know. Answering no, all these. That is obviously <laughs> rich. <laughs> like, no. She's trying, trying to, to protect them. And Buzz is going, no, wait with me. No. No. First of all, if it's honest, you got to say it. Not like those mothers that don't live with their kids. Why don't you put that in? Okay, first Did you of all, type that with a battery on your shoulder, okay. Robert Conrad? <laughs> first, of all, first of all, people ask for advice, and I try to help out some of them. Why are you not helping them? Yeah, yeah, helping them. I said, if you're honest on stage, who gives a fuck who's in the audience? You don't have to be honest on stage. You have to be funny. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey. Whatever. Uh, right. what, what? The Ozone Midget Sighting of Or Midget Sighting. Who saw this coming? Brian in Washington, what's up? Hey, what's going on, O and A? Hey. Over the weekend, Saturday, I had a midget sighting in front of a liquor store. All right. He asked me that I, um, if, if I, if he could make me laugh, would I buy him a beer? This fucking Aww. midget takes and, while standing, bends down and puts his fucking head on the fucking ground. So his feet were <laughs> flat on the ground, and so is the top of his head. He bends over. That is correct. Did you buy him the beer? Or fuck him. Got him a beer. <laughs> got him a bag of chips. I asked him, um, and if, if I buy him the chips, will he do it again? I want to get a picture with it, um, of him doing it. So I get my cousin. He stole a camera. With his cell phone. <laughs> he fucking does the thing, but my cousin yells a bad midget and kicks the midget in his ass while he's doing it. Oh, that's exactly what your cousin should have done. <laughs> That's exactly what he should have done. Did your cousin's ankle bracelet get caught in his pants? <laughs> no, sir, the picture didn't come out. It just showed you, the gun, and the elevator buttons. <laughs> now, the fucking midget hopped up so fucking fast, and he's chasing my cousin around, just yelling at him. What a great midget story. That is the saddest story Involved the midget heard. getting hurt, degraded. Exactly. And all trying to get a free beer and a bag of chips. Yeah, and he's and hungry. <laughs> just so he can forget about his miserable life. Short. Was this on the wire? What happened? Where did this take place? It had to be this Baltimore. is in Washington, D.C. Oh, D.C. Ah, yeah. D.C. Said Baltimore. D.C. Baltimore. That was representing. Baltimore. All right. Thanks, Brian. I have got... Oh, that was a funny... Meanwhile, oh, back at the show. Yeah, so, boss, you were one. saying... No, I was just saying you got to be honest. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, see, you you're saying it like uh, as your your con uh, it's a conversation. The way you put it, he was trying to be profound with some like one line. Like, wow, thing. and he, he even leaves his it. name Voss V O S. Yeah. Didn't say Rich Voss. What was okay, it? But that's because he can't was it? type very well. It was just what like was yeah, it was him just giving the final you know like. What was it again? Uh, it was him saying. Well, if it's honest, you yeah. gotta say it, no if matter what. If it's watch. honest, I've, you gotta. So, in say other it. words, if you're performing, you know, in front of a, 
bunch of like you know Holocaust victims. If you have a funny joke <laughs> about gas right. showers, you have to say it no matter what. <laughs> Rich would though. <laughs> That's the truth. First of all, the two days you were on MySpace, you were on there more than two days. And when you, first of all, you, I'm not. My guy runs it. I've been on there two days. Who's your guy? I don't know. Some kid that runs my MySpace. Uh oh, is he fourteen? Is he in the front of Congress? Sound like a police uh, <laughs> officer. <laughs> the There's never fourteen-year-old boys. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, head of one of the guys uh, from uh, Homeland Security, yeah. got, got uh, oh, yeah. arrested. Another guy who thinks oh. he's talking to a fourteen-year-old uh, girl online yep. sets up a little meeting. Oops, it's a cop. You never hear one story of a guy actually hooking up with a 14-year-old. Well, why don't you have a fucking cop posing as a pedophile, and when the kid shows up, the cop slaps him for being a fucking tattletale? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, you're fatter than your picture. <laughs> Here's the news story. Well, authorities say 55-year-old Brian Doyle sent pornographic movie clips over the Internet to whom he thought was a 14-year-old girl. They also say he went so far as to reveal his name and that he worked for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Smart. Just before police arrested Brian Doyle at his Maryland home, they say the Homeland Security Deputy Press Secretary was chatting online with someone he thought was a 14-year-old girl. This was as perverse and as sickening as a case as we've seen. Authorities say Doyle was actually conversing with a Polk County, Florida Sheriff's deputy posing as a teenager. He graphically explained to a 14-year-old girl what he would like to do to her and what he would like her to do to him. But he didn't. It was... Plus, she was 14. Yeah. Let's not act like it was a little girl. 14, you know. 14's the new, uh, yeah, the new 18. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Colin. Well, the guy acts like, oh, it's always horrifying. No, if it's a little kid, it's horrifying. Oh, so is 14. What the fuck is that? I, I, when whoa, I was 15, whoa. I went out with a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, but you weren't 55. He's a 55-year-old. Oh, yeah. He is now. I just show you that heart. <laughs> she was the best piece of ass I've had. <laughs> and I had them all over the world. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had. And I've had them all over the world. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. Look back, girl. Oh, How fast did they get that one up? That's insane. How could they do <laughs> that? Anthony just pushes buttons. He knows where everything yeah. is. Yeah, we are just... He sure everything. does push so. buttons. Uh, he was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. I just happened to have, have the uh, Godfathers up there. Alice Rocco just died, didn't he? Won't see did he no die? More. Won't see him no more. Yeah, I think he died. <laughs> are you kidding? I'm yeah, trying kid. to have her be breaking his balls. He's getting fucking fresh. Hey, will you relax? I didn't mean to offend you. You got I the guineas really make me laugh. <laughs> the video, by the way, getting back to that story, was great with the, you know, the box coming out of the, the home. Oh, yeah, you never want to be the guy. Uh, he's cuffed. The cop is bringing him out, and in front of him is another cop holding Hold a big box <laughs> full of filth. Oh. You know, it's just a box of filth. And that guy knows what's in that box. He yeah. Wait till they get to tape three. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they're not viewing him yeah. at the house. They're just going, I'll grab this tape, this yeah. tape. And he's like, ah, that one's nothing. That one's a copy uh. of this. That's been my vacation. <laughs> oh, That's a copy oh, of the incredible. Boy. Oh, that one's the bad <laughs> oh, one. They boy, grabbed yeah, it. But, oh, he know, boy. but he knows what kind of porn he's got. He's got the 14-year-olds. He's like, oh, God, I did download the two-year-old. Oh. Oh, Why? I well, just how wanted do we to know watch it. <laughs> how do we know these girls on on PayPal are at 12? Uh, First of well, all, it's not PayPal, you fucking illiterate. It's pal it's talk. Pal talk. You know what I mean? And uh, all I have to say to that is dare to dream, <laughs> my friend. How do you know they're because, 18? Uh, what, are they holding their license? <laughs> yeah, what you do is you say SpongeBob, and if they jump up and clap, you fucking <laughs> close the window. <laughs> No, they have to they have to click off. I'll on tell something. you that girl is being held captive. Look in the right hand corner. Yeah, yeah, there is something up. very evil and. Miss, sexy what do you want that. us to do? What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> sending the cops. <laughs> there is something very sexy about this, that, right? They, Which yeah, one this, are you talking about? Uh, in the right hand uh, corner. Red rum oh, right. six. Red She's the one that's She's wearing been the short. Shaking and crying for an hour, <laughs> and I see shadows of like two guys behind her. <laughs> so I some guns. That's, and... that's Ooh, great. look at those bosoms. Hey, we got more on the Homeland Security guy. The 55-year-old is charged with using a computer to seduce a child and transmission of harmful material to a minor. What shocked us was he didn't hesitate 
upon the first conversation to identify himself as a deputy press secretary for Homeland Security. The Polk County Sheriff said Doyle had multiple internet and telephone yeah. conversations <laughs> with the undercover detective. He, he provided his months. office and government yeah. issued cell phone numbers and this identifying photograph. He emailed photographs of himself oh. with his Owner. DHS security tag clearly visible. Oh. Doyle's arrest came just hours after a That's real grimly. victim of internet yes, child pornography testified on Capitol Hill about the need for the government to act quickly life. to protect children from online sexual predators. Doyle is expected to be placed on administrative leave. A federal investigation is also underway, and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has promised its full cooperation. He is currently in an area jail waiting to be extradited to Florida. Wait a minute. The guy is a... Uh... Deputy Press Secretary. I totally lost my thought. No, it was something else. I completely I'm pervert. lost my thought. Wow. Completely. You know, I, listen, I, I, I'm I so glad these people are getting locked up or whatever, but isn't that entrapment? Though? Yeah, I don't know how they get away with it. He said, he goes, he was carrying on a conversation yeah. that was disgusting with uh, a 14, you know, asking a 14-year-old girl things uh, he'd like to do. And the fact is, he wasn't. He was. He was asking a cop I, I that was of age. You know, he's asking a guy or a girl cop. It's a tough cause like for us buying, to get behind. Yeah, but yeah I'm not really going to rally support for this one, folks. But yeah. it's, that it's is the reality. censorship. It might be because if yeah. you want to talk. What if this <laughs> fantasy is just making believe he's talking to a 14-year-old? Is that a crime? That he gets caught yes. in the net like the occasional fucking dolphin does. <laughs> right. We all love our tuna. But <laughs> and this guy is Homeland Security. He can't figure out that he's not talking to a 14-year-old. How is he protecting the country? Yeah, you know he doesn't saying? care. Maybe he... Um, it's very possible that the legality is if they contact you. The pedophile will usually... Like perverted justice always contacts the kid. Yeah, but it's not a kid. No, no, no. But it, it's like buying drugs, but it's really powder because there's a cop selling it to you. If your intent is, it's like uh, buying guns. So you want to buy fucking guns, and they and they have plastic guns they bring, and you purchase them thinking they're real guns. You're still gonna be charged with that. I want to fuck a gun. What? Yeah. Well, you've never you've never been on the receiving end of a rifle and a good story. <laughs> Maybe a good scolding. <laughs> Could you guys get gun uh, pistol permits for yourselves with carry permits? Oh yeah. Can you get me one? I want to yeah. buy a new Springfield. There's this new gun. You know this this comedian. You guys know Adam Leslie. Yeah. yeah. Rich does him. Mm -hmm. He was a crackhead. He stole my gun in L.A. But I want to get a new gun. He stole you a sorry. pistol or a, a rifle? A pistol. Yeah, pistol in New, New You live in New York City? Millimeter. Yeah. Hard. Very hard. I'll just write myself a death threat and I'll say someone send it to me. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. Yeah, outside New York City, it's a lot easier. It still takes you six months. I went to get a gun permit, right? And when I was 18, I was busted for pot, just like a couple ounces, right? You didn't write it down. Yeah, because I thought it was Idiot. expunged from my. No, uh, they say even if anything's expunged, you have to write down every ticket. I had to write down this. Get, get, get this. I had a suspended license when I was 22 years old. Yeah. And I was driving my Model T down the road, <laughs> and it, it, uh, I, I rear-ended somebody. Cops came. Found out my license was suspended. Took me down to the precinct uh, to He's give me a to desk Malibu. appearance. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fucking Penrods. <laughs> <laughs> not even, not even arrested. Just to give me a desk, you know, appearance ticket type thing. Check me out. I had to write that down. Okay. You so have to write down whatever happened to you legally. Every ticket you got, <clears throat> the disposition of every ticket. Write it down, or else they go up. Oh, didn't write it down. Fuck you. You get well, no gun. Okay, so this was 15 years ago that I, I, I was rejected. They said, you didn't write that down. Can yeah. I still go back in yeah, and, you can and reapply yeah. and mm -hmm. say... I don't yeah. like when I bring up an idea which shouldn't even be brought up on the radio. It was selfish and stupid of me. Then he's jumping on my bandwagon trying yeah. to get you to give him advice on buying a gun. Well, because he knows he's he out of it and quit smoking. One I was going to get. I was yeah. going to get a. a Why did you go to alcohol, thing? tobacco, and firearms? A laser thing. I was going to get, get a fucking laser thing. Your yeah, fingers first. couldn't reach the trigger. What good's a gun? He's going to get it to help him quit smoking. <laughs> You're going to get a lightsaber? What are you getting? A laser <laughs> thing that you're No, he said he was getting a, uh, a taser. We oh, a about taser? That. I wanted a taser for comedy. Oh, that's right. He wants to taser his own audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did you or did you not say that? Yeah, you know, it's illegal. They come at you. You never know. You know, it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do some of those wheel kicks we've seen you do? <laughs> yeah. The fucking greatest moment of my life. I was seeing a British girl years ago, and we're out in front of this Chinese place, and fucking Voss is there talking about how he took karate. <laughs> and dumb show off goes to do like a fucking a straight out kick and he slips and he falls in garbage juice. <laughs> He fucking, it was by a big pile of garbage bags, and he fucking, 
<laughs> he slipped and fell right on his stupid back in garbage juice. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Take him, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that perfect? Do you remember that? It was just yeah, do I remember that? How can I not oh, remember wow. it? How did you uh, come back from that? What did you say uh, when you got up? Anything? We, just, uh, we were just laughing. I like the way yeah, I like to the, just laugh. I like the way uh, I, Norton tells the story. I was seeing a British girl like it was Notting Hill yeah. instead of some triple labia she fucking just, prostitute. Just had a miscarriage. Yeah. <laughs> I was seeing this British gal. And, uh, well, if you've ever seen Hugh Grant and yeah. uh, James good point, Norton, good point. Good point. out for a night at the theater, are we? <laughs> It was more just for a like reference of time. Take her dining right near garbage juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't even be near garbage juice with a British girl. He was just pointing out his career. <laughs> Why stop the <laughs> <laughs> Does Lady Di and Marion still call in? Oh, uh, every they so often. They can't afford the satellite, so yeah. we don't hear from them often. I that miss that Dennis Di Young haircut. <laughs> 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 Come sail away. All right, we could go back to the uh, the funniest mom thing. We're almost done. Please. This is Pam, fat redneck. I'm Kim Harrison. I am the mother of one. Oh, I live in Columbia, What's South Kim? Carolina, and I live in a trailer. I know you're stunned. Oh, yeah. It's a double wide. <laughs> it have to be. My dream. Badass. My dream is to be on Broadway. They need a bigger size for bigger girls like me. Something like one size fits all, y'all. We have a seven-year-old daughter. She's the most beautiful child on the face of the earth. Big blue eyes, just like her daddy's uh, best friend. And... Uh, Oh, she fucked her, um, uh, yeah. Because yeah. it sounds like the daddy, name. but she trails it. Right. She should have said brother, because then the redneck. <laughs> right. uh-huh. 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 Well, she should have uh-huh. shown a picture of daddy's best friend, and it was his dog. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's punch up the funniest mom. <laughs> <laughs> Big black Rottweiler cock straighten her right out. <laughs> Sassy mom in her double wide with a fucking fat dog dick buried in her. <laughs> Big fucking pink lipstick right in that fucking fat white box. Keep going. Keep going. I ran out of things to say. I'm getting an erection. Oh, my God. That was really was horrible. <laughs> We've got to bring up uh, that the streak of the, the hot teacher banging the student is over. Oh, over, Johnny. It's That's over. Yeah. yeah. You, you've been following the hot teacher banging yeah, the student. There's before. that one. No, that there was a whole, is there was a just, whole slew of them. Yeah, but she was the, the one another. was the hottest yes. ever. She winds up getting off with no prison time you know, at all. As well she should. They it's let her go, man. Ugly. She was so <laughs> hot, and uh, they let her go. That because legally, people wanted to be, oh, you know, looks matter in everything. So of at course. At least was being honest. The law was She's completely being away. honest. And, uh, the, well, the newest one was out. Where is it on? Is I guess, it on, um, let Smoking Gun? Let me check, uh, Smoking Gun. Go to SmokingGun.com, but I believe it was on Drudge. And we got the latest one. We the wonderful show. Drudge. The guy showed the picture. She, yeah. She, was Hot. she should be on Girls Gone Wild Island. <laughs> <laughs> is that her? Teacher charged for giving student a wedgie. Get out That's of here. New. That's great. Oh, that just happened yesterday, right? Did it? Uh, well, I saw a thing that said uh, a bizarre form of punishment. A teacher gets in trouble oh. for a bizarre. Oh, they didn't it. tell you it was the tease. No, it was some yeah, it was some male teacher did it to like a girl in a g-string. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need a wedgie, miss. Yeah. Uh. Or it's even hotter if he fucking yanked each end of her diaper. The Uber wedgie. <laughs> Not that she was oh. young. She was just retarded. <laughs> Incontinent. Fifteen <laughs> year old retarded girl. Fat with a big head. Like Look our own Katie producer. Curran. <laughs> that who uh, She's leaving. She's leaving. Uh, Memories of Katie. She's going for the money. We, we don't have the pick. Ah, who's this? No, no. Ah, Look at the teacher. Mark Holly, 41. Ah. Uh, charged with giving a 10 year old a wedgie. Ah. He's a killer. <laughs> What a nightmare! That guy is a prick. Oh, no! The 41-year-old is charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Oh. Must have been some wedgie. They the mother kill him. of the boy told investigators she reported the alleged incident to school administrators immediately, immediately after it kill happened. Him. What did she say when she called Colonel Kurtz gave me a wedgie? Yeah. <laughs> that guy is evil. That is a scary-looking guy. Kill it needs him. to be it gotten be off the street. you gotta find the looking. you got to find the teacher because uh, <laughs> they're claiming that she gave 27 blowjobs in a week. No, what? it was it was actually... Well, what's the numbers she had She had sex with a 13-year-old. Right. 
27 times in one week and one blowjob. Oh, one, okay. 27, there she is. This, I don't care this, what, yikes. The streak oh. is over. The streak is over, <laughs> gentlemen. The streak is over. hot streak oh has God. ended. Oh. Is that Big J Okerson? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that said was a 13-year-old? 27 yeah. times in a week she had intercourse <laughs> and <laughs> gave him one blowjob. Yeah, now, that's what I call world's right? funniest mom. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to give her the prize. At least she's, got a, she's a good dresser, at least. That's nice. It's like yeah. one of uh, E-Rod's shirts. Shirt. 27 times oh. in one week. That's nice, though. She look, yeah. That's a goer. That's Thir at 13, you, you see anything. You get a rod. She looks yeah. like Jimmy Page. No, that's psychologically <laughs> damaging Jimmy, that fat one. Fat Jimmy Page. <laughs> she yeah, looks like Blondo. Eddie Trunk. Oh, God. <laughs> she looks like Eddie Trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was disgusting. <laughs> uh, uh, survey. She sucked his cock to a Queen's Rife song. <laughs> <laughs> he sucked his cock. I stuck this guy to Queen's Rife. It's to Queen's Rife. More cock is Urban yours. teens losing their virginity uh, very early. A new survey <laughs> shows four out of ten kids said they had intercourse before 14. And have engaged in oral sex Christ, and even second anal grade? sex by 17. Yo, sweetheart. Yo, why don't you, you know, chill with us? Isn't that amazing? Inner city. A lot inner of inner city. 42% engaged in vaginal intercourse at the age of 14. How did my joke get nothing? We didn't I was anyone. reading a study. Oh, well, no, you, said, you said when they were 14, I went, wow, by second grade? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's very funny. That was a good one. You know, had to bring that back. He brought it back. Yeah, That's very funny. I always funny. repeat that one. If I yeah, when you can pull the alarm and still get it, it's funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we got two more clips. And uh, thank you for letting us do that. We appreciate it. And it's good talk to you. Call it. All right, Scorch. First of Scorch all, how gone. perfect was it that they... The next song to prove the who Ozzy argument was an Ozzy song. Ozzy. No, they played it first. Shut of all. your mouth. No, and take it. you're not paying attention because they played it earlier. They're coming up was Clapton and yeah, Guns but they and Roses. said they played the Ozzy, and I was so happy. Yeah, me too. Because uh. she appears. Why? Well, I happen to like uh, a good Ozzy song. Yeah, you and Scorch. Colin, know what we do on this show from time to time is uh, we span America to listen to bad radio. Yeah, people t uh, driving around take their cell phones and. Uh, whatever city we they're in. We love the bit, but the listeners don't really do it well yeah. yet. Yeah. They put on their favorite morning show and then put the uh, phone by their radio, and we listen in on some of these great morning radio and shows. And all the hacky bits oh. they're doing, like gay play of the day. Gay play of the day. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we ought to play that. We ought to steal that from Scorch to see how it works. What, uh, and what do we do? Sing along to a gay song? Yeah, you put on a gay song, and like then a, a listener. Artist? Yeah, and a listener sings along to it. Get it? No, I don't either. You know what I would do? Yeah. If I had my own radio show, I'd uh, have everybody go into like, you know, some kind of like a, one of those uh, furniture stores like Ethan Allen and uh -huh. jump on the couch like Tom Cruise. Oh, like Tom Cruise did on a Oprah. Oh, that'd be funny. Right. right? That'd yeah. be hysterical. All right, what well, would the store do, you know, uh -huh. would they kick you out, would uh, you, you know, listen to the guy trying to explain what he's doing? Oh, yeah. would be great. And you play Risky, like, uh, uh, what's the, the song they played, Risky Business? Oh, right. The uh, stupid Bob Seger roll. song in the Old background. Old-time rock and roll. Or the Top Gun theme, something like that. Something cruisish. Sorry, let's say hi to Josh in PA. Josh, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey. Scorch said, uh... Where the hell are they now, Wednesdays? Is he giving out W-T-H-A-T-N-W bumper stickers? Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, uh, the finger-banging pat battle through pretty pink panties are over. Pat <laughs> uh, battle. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. It's Whip'em Out Wednesday today. Yes, it is. Because we had the long weekend. It's uh, it's WOW today. Yes, Whip'em Out Wednesday. You can get your official WOW stickers by going to opianthony.com. You basically get the WOW in your car, and uh, ladies will uh, flash you if they feel like it. Yes, they will. Happens all the time. We hear from people almost every day. So there you have it. Uh, we're going to Indiana. Jeff, what's going on? Not much. How are you today? Pretty hey. good. We got Colin Quinn in studio. He surprised us today, and we couldn't be happier. How you doing, Colin? Hi, Jeff. Um, the Bob and Tom show, uh, I used to be an avid listener, but I haven't actually listened to them for quite a long time. Uh, I still have it in my dialed in in my radio here if you guys want to hear some of it. <laughs> have you ever done the Bob and Tom show, Colin, no, over the years? Oh, boy. Where is it, L.A.? Uh, they're West. they're the kings of like uh, middle market uh, America. See, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. We love to do this every so often, but people's phones suck. 
Your phone is making a weird noise. Yeah, Jeff, oh, I don't know if we can go to you. We might. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. It's actually at, at a commercial, believe it or not. The same of course it is. Of course, it is. of course it is. We love doing this bit, but we just can't figure out how to make it work. Maybe what we need to do is have the listeners like tape their favorite program and send in you know quick MP3 files. Yeah, that's a good idea of uh, the section that's really hacking. Yeah, and then you can get the best sections. Right. Exactly. The best. See. But if it was our favorite program, we wouldn't be listening to the Opie Anthony show. Opie Anthony. Or Opie and Anthony. Opie <laughs> Anthony. All right. Your phone stinks. Jeff, I think we're gonna punch out. We're gonna punch out just because if we're gonna do the bit, we gotta make it work for once, okay? This phone is awful. All right, we're gonna go uh, backwards a little bit. Do we have the Starker Patty clip? Starker Patty being molested, Colin. You listen. Oh, yeah. So basically, this, these girls came in with sex toys, and, and Starker Patty came in. We got her naked again, like Anthony said. She gets naked all the time. Yeah, great. And uh, we strapped on this, like, uh, pocket pussy thing. Like, it's like a vibrator that goes over. It was a butterfly that goes over your snatch. Right. And Not inside. Just <laughs> over. And Anthony, Anthony had the remote control, I guess, right? Yeah, and Anthony was uh, turning it on and off and the making wireless it remote faster, control. slower, that whole deal. Oh, I love mm -hmm. it. And she was hating it, so we pinned her arms back and uh, molested her. Listen <laughs> to this. Good. All right, just All lay right. down. <laughs> just, just lay on it. Lay down. What's going to happen? <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Nothing. All right, all right, get the gas Scared. and the matches. <laughs> did, I, did I hit it? Well, nothing. You panicking. You're, relax. You're, you're, you're all relaxed, though? You're 50 with a mullet. It's all right. <laughs> What's the matter, Patty? There you go, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Put it back. Right. Put it back. Put it back. Jeez, it's stop. It's it's stop. Not. Just it's leave it there. Leave it. Right. Absolutely crazy. Hold now, on. You ready? No. It might hurt a little bit. <laughs> is it, is what are you doing? Is it working? Oh my God! This is something. Ah, this is something you do in privacy, not something you do in front of people. She's right. There you go. Uh, there's better clips, but that was a, that was a quick home. one. I love it though. I want to I want to hear the one where she's like uh, begging us to stop and saying I I don't want to do this I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, get that clip, Eric. All right, and we got to go uh, even even further back. We got Colin Quinn on that uh, TV show, molesting oh, the report. Cleveland, just so we could uh, bring everyone up to speed. Yeah, we got we got this clip and we had a lot of fun with it for a while, and now you're finally in here. Here it is. Let's uh, we've got a graphic that says when you're going to be on. So uh, oh. Friday and Saturday, we're 8 o'clock and 10.15. Yes. All right. And there's the number for tickets, 696-4677. We'd like oh, to... Alicia, I'd like to... I, I forgot to tell you. Oh, we're not on camera anymore, huh? Oh, Alicia. Oh! Yeah. She's like a normal news. Hey, you can let plays me. He's laughing. Hey, let's say hi to Doug out, Doug, real fast. Doug, what's, what's up, up, buddy? Hey, guys, I just want to plug the new Pest Radio show on Howard 101 from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. <laughs> Have you Monday guys. Through Friday. You've been getting a lot of calls through on that stupid Pharrell? It is fucking horrendous how we're smashing him nonstop. <laughs> uh, we've got yeah. a new contract. We're going to be on there every night for the next two years. <laughs> yeah, the pest got signed to Sirius. Hey, dude, is he dumping Who? out like a fucking faggot? Who uh, is for real? Who is for real? Exactly. Out. He's, he is fucking horrendous. Friend of the show until he uh, turned. Yeah, a lot of people have like turned everyone on us. does. A lot of people have turned on except us lately. You, Colin. Colin. Yeah, Thank exactly. you. Except for you. Thank God, Opie invited me on the show. Hey, no one gives you that once in a while. Like, hey, stop except by. Except why don't you stop by? Come in whenever you want. You, Shut you up. Fucking, you have no power to say it. You, I had the power to say it. You don't have you the authority. And, you and Eric can exchange fucking hairdos. You don't have the authority. I thought that would get a good laugh, but I forced it. God damn it. <laughs> Go on, just let. Why can't you just let me slide? Ah, uh, nah. Go on, her <laughs> own time's sake, Tom. <laughs> can't you force a laugh? <laughs> her own time's sake. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, can't do it. <laughs> All right, Doug. What else? Hey, he's, yeah, he's trying not to take as many calls. His whole first hour the other night, he played about 14 songs and did that fucking singing. <laughs> he did that for an hour straight the other night, just so he wouldn't take any calls. No there one could be enjoying that piece of shit radio hey, show. Only ten seconds out. left. Uh, where are you going to be? Cleveland Improv this week. Banana uh, Poughkeepsie's. Voss and Bonnie at uh, Cleveland, Cleveland Improv, Improv but Banana Norton at Banana Poughkeepsie's. Yeah. But Voss in Cleveland, but Theo not Mara. at Bananas with me. Colin Quinn from nowhere.